My name is Mary Claire Wright, and I'm the computer science teacher here at Davidson High School. How are you using the color shading capabilities to choose an environment that fits your needs? So the Igor panel is right beside my door, and as I move through the classroom, I will just subtly change the lighting depending on what we have going on. So when you're teaching high school students, they can listen to a lecture for about seven minutes before their attention starts to wander, and you have to do something to reset their clock. So I use the lights to reset their clock. So I will change it from a high or a low light or a warm or a cool light to subtly change the environment in the room and redirect their attention. And it's worked like a charm. Um, we're able to move much more seamlessly through the material. Um, it's got an AV capability, so when I am projecting, I can hit that button and it will dim the lights right over where I project. Um, so I can still have light in the room, but they're able to see what's on the board. Um, when it was first installed, I thought it was a little frivolous. I wasn't sure what it was for. And if you tried to take it out of my room now, I'd be furious because I can control the mood and the lighting very quickly. And we adjust it. I probably adjust it five or six times during class. And I don't know how much the students are aware, but it absolutely impacts the flow. What are your thoughts on the ease of use of the wall control station? It's ridiculously easy to use. Um, it, one side of the panel controls the brightness of the light and the other side controls, I guess, the shade of blue. So you can go from really white, what we call emergency room, operating room light, all the way down to a very warm yellow light that the children really seem to enjoy. Are the students responding to the changes in light levels uh, or the, and or changes in color temperature of the light? They are responding, but I don't know if they're aware that they're responding. It's resetting that internal clock for them. It's refocusing them. Um, as I'm moving around the room from board to board, it does change the environment. I don't know if they would tell you that they're aware, but they are absolutely aware. Um, it's very subtle, but we're able to continue on. How are you using um, your teaching space differently now that the system has been deployed? I find myself moving more, if for no other reason than I've got to get to the panel. And so the more as a teacher I can walk around, the more I can make sure that everybody's okay. In a computer lab, I need to be able to see everybody's screen at some point. And it has absolutely gotten me away from the lectern and more out into the lab, which is always gonna be good for teaching. Can you just talk about you know, your impressions um, from the teacher perspective? about the differences about what was in place before to what's currently in place and, and just your general attitude about the prioritization of safety in the classroom. So as a classroom teacher, when something happens, and it, when you're in a school and something happens, we're the ones in the hallways making the decisions. My assistant principals are, and principals and administrators are liaisoning with the central office and the police and the first responder and handling all that, but we're the ones in the hallway. And the more information we have, the more comfortable we can be that there is a system in place, then we can make a more relaxed decision about what to do. I have been in a school where there was an incident and there wasn't, we were, we were making it up. We were teachers in the hallway making up what to do. How are we going to get these children where we need to be? How are we gonna get information to the parents in the right way? And that was before cell phones were as prevalent. But it creates a feeling that you are not alone in this, that there is a method in place to get as many of your children secure as you can. And that, that's a huge relief that you're not the only one having to figure out how, what are we gonna do now. Um, and that has made a huge difference in our faculty because it is prevalent on everybody's mind. And they are our kids. And we're responsible for them and we want to be able to take care of them. But it is, we're, we're the ones in the hallways. When it happens, we're the ones standing there. Can you just talk through, like, when you see something happen, what do you do? Or what are you supposed to do, I should say? So one of the magical things is all over the building are the teacher assist buttons. Every, right beside every classroom door is a telephone where you can get a direct line to the office. And then also the teacher assist buttons are available, which means with the push of a button, I can get help. I can get word out. Scattered throughout the building, we have different faculty members that carry walkie-talkies. And so if I can get word to the built to the front office, they can immediately get a message to someone with a walkie-talkie who's gonna be no more than three or four classrooms down. So help can get here quickly. Um, more help will come, but it can come from farther away, but I can get help immediately. Under the old system, we had a, a, a device up on the wall that had a pull string. So you had to get into the classroom and get, I had to get in a chair to pull the string and hope that they could hear me. And so the fact that I can stick my head into any teacher's door and call the office and any student or any teacher 
can call for help is a huge difference.